Long ago, a single demon challenged the Emperor of the Underworld for the sake of mankind. The demon would prove victorious and seal off the Underworld. That demon was the Dark Knight Sparta. Sparta's legend spread, and the legendary Dark Knight was revered by mankind. But as the years slipped by, the memory of his deeds and the existence of demons faded from memory. After 2,000 years, the seal on the underworld began to weaken. The demon emperor Mundus sent his minions after Sparta's wife and twin sons in an act of revenge. Sparta's human wife, Eva, stood no chance against the demons and lost her life. One of Sparta's sons, Virgil, went missing. The only survivor was Dante, Virgil's twin brother. Decades later, Dante was reunited with his lost brother, Virgil. Virgil survived the years with the help of his father's sword, Yamato, and longed to obtain even greater strength by unlocking the power of Sparta. Arkham, a man bent on obtaining demonic power, knew that unlocking Sparta's power would weaken the seal on the underworld. To this end, Arkham manipulated Virgil from the shadows to fulfill his deluded ambitions. Conflicted over his feelings for his lost brother, Dante set out to stop Virgil and Arkham. Along the way, Dante met a demon hunter named Lady. Her lust for revenge against Arkham, the man who killed her mother, served to steal Dante's resolve. After learning that Arkham was the real threat all along, Dante and Virgil teamed up to fight the Mad Scholar. However, this camaraderie did not last long, as the two could not overcome their differences. The battle between brothers was fierce, but Virgil met his match. In the end, he refused Dante's help as he fell alone into the underworld. Soon after, Dante opened his shop for business, Devil May Cry. Fronting as a local handyman, he used his business to hunt down demons and collect information on Mundus. Some time later, a mysterious and beautiful woman appeared at Dante's door. The woman's name was Trish, and she bore a striking resemblance to Dante's deceased mother. She led Dante to Mallet Island, where Mundus had been sealed away. There, Dante faced a gauntlet of Mundus's minions, all of whom fell to the Devil Hunter's inordinate strength. One such adversary was revealed to be Virgil, warped into the demon known only as Nello Angelo. In the face of Mundus's cruelty, Dante's anger erupted like never before. The true power Dante inherited from his father Sparta was unleashed, which he used to seal Mundus away once again. Dante then returned to hunting demons with Trish and Lady at his side. Many demons continued to invade the human world. But not even demonic rulers rivaling the power of Mundus could match Dante's strength. All was at peace in the human world. But not for long. A Sparta-worshipping cult known as the Order of the Sword aimed to take control of the human world through demonic forces. Thus, Dante traveled to their base in Fortuna to assassinate the Order leader, Sanctus. Incensed by this affront, the Order dispatched young Holy Knight Nero to kill Dante. Nero learned of the Order's true goals during his pursuit of Dante, and was killed for it by the scientist Agnus. Unbeknownst to all, Virgil's sword Yamato had been in the Order's possession. The blade resonated with Nero, reviving him with new demonic powers. This was proof enough that the blood of Sparta coursed through Nero's veins as well. Having learned of the Order's sinister plans, Nero confronted fellow Holy Knight and mentor Credo about his involvement. But alas, his former mentor had been working towards the Order's goals all along. On top of everything, Sanctus was revived with the aid of nefarious powers. Nero's beloved, Kyrie, was then taken hostage. And the lovers were absorbed into the core of the Order's ultimate weapon, the Savior. Enraged over his sister Kyrie's treatment, Credo tried to save Nero, only to be dealt a fatal blow at the hands of Sanctus. Just when all seemed lost, the legendary Dante arrived to battle the savior and rescue Nero. Nero was then able to defeat Sanctus, 
and put an end to the Order's evil machinations. Dante sensed in Nero the same connection to Sparta's power, and so entrusted Yamato to the youth before leaving Fortuna. The two parted ways and continued their fight against demons in defense of the human world. The two descendants of Sparta kept the world safe and at peace for many years. But nothing lasts forever, and a crisis looms on the horizon the likes of which their world has never seen. It has begun. I will show you your worst nightmares. I will give you despair and death. Devil may come.